Moita Archery, hi. Back with the next bow from Andras Kovas. Sorry for naming you wrong. It's not Andreas, it's Andras. So this is the next one. This is the recurve E, the Python, uh, 60 inches long. This one is 27 pound. It's available from, I don't know. Most probably up to 45 pounds. Max draw length is 31 inches. Pointy. What a beautiful bow. Nice wood. Easy to string. Brace had no idea. Handle is a little bigger. As you see, it has even on the back side quite a big bump so that the handle is more in the middle and not too far on the belly. Handle feels very comfortable. Let's check. Knocking point is not that. Oh, nice. We'll do 32, I guess. Tips are extremely loose, dear assistants. When you work here, make sure the tips are tightened. <sighs> hmm? Feels good. Hmm. Draws nice. Vibration. Yes. Hand choke. A little. But these arrows are quite lightweight. But it's only 27 pounds, so and these arrows are 320, so it's already more than 10 grain. Still a bit, I should a little heavy arrows, they are 390. Yeah, still. But it draws nice, shoots nice. Simply don't hold the bow too tight, draw a little more. Still vibrates. I don't know why this is with these bows. They all have a little long vibration. Even if the handle is big, but it, look at this beautiful wood here. So it's a nice bow. 60 inches short. And they state on the website that even powerful when you are not a long drawer when you're not a long drawer no, no. when you don't draw long let's say you're uh, he said this is the female one that you I don't know because it's short so you don't get stuck here some sort of but short draw yeah of course nice and powerful And some people think when you don't shoot a tennis ball, you miss the target. You heard that? When I want to shoot a tennis ball, I hit the tennis ball. I aim for the rope above the tennis ball. It's way more fun because it's way smaller. And there's a small knot. And hitting this knot is way more fun than hitting a huge tennis ball. Tennis ball is for beginners. But it's a lot of fun to shoot. It's very accurate. Even for giving, so even for a beginner, it's a nice bow. But on the other side, 469, 469 euros for this bow. Maybe not for the complete beginner, so you should know what you want in your life when you want to invest more than 500, uh, 450 euros. Is it worth it? Yes. It's extremely nice wood. The handles are incredible made. So this is what they really stand out. These handles are really nice. It, f it seriously fits like, like a glove. Performance wise for a 27 pound bow. It's impressive. 31 inch draw. 
Nice reinforced tips with the point so we even can step one to death when you run out of arrows. Shall we? Yes, we shall. So, speed test. Elasticity. I think I read this on the website because it's so elastic. And in every draw length, really powerful. Kind of. So, let's see. Three hundred twenty grain, twenty eight inches, forty five point zero eight, forty four point eight six, forty five point zero seven, forty five point four. The other tip is lose my assistant who works here on Wednesday. 46.2. 45.51. So 45 to 46 meters per second in normal 28 inches. Not bad for a 27 pound. Let's draw a little longer, 31 inches. 44, 3, yeah, good, the arrow's a little heavier. Oh, that was rubbish. 47, oh, 45 meters per second, 46 meters per second, longer draw, a little more, but standard 28 inches. Do I have to comment this really on every bow now? The knocking points are not closed and scratchy. So at least take a bit of sandpaper or check it. So 45, 46 meters per second for a 27 pound bow. It's in the draw weight class of a snake, but performs really well. Looks very good. Handle, as I said. Feels good. The wood is incredibly awesome with this bow. So it's really a piece of art. So this is this, the H recurve. At the E recurve, next will be the H recurve. So this is E for elastic, H for no idea, but this is the next one. Thanks for watching.